The last thing for us to cover is swept blend. It's, as the name suggests, a composition of sweep tool and blend tool. So we will have two pro profiles that will be extruded along some path. There are some limitations there, which I will tell you about later. But first of all, we will sketch a path here. And unfortunately, the limitation is that we cannot uh, draw more than one line. So if I will try to draw another one or another one, Revit will not allow me to do it. More than one uh, curve is not allowed. Okay, so I will delete this one and click finish. Now I will have to select profile for the for the beginning of my uh, of my sketch. I will select, for example, this one, and I will select profile in a left view. The pop up that appeared on the screen. Uh, was by Revit to suggesting me to go to another view to draw it the shape okay so once this both both shapes are created I can create finish yeah I guess I may be over complicated it but I hope you grasp the idea maybe I will just select a different bigger profile you see it extends linearly along this path. In my from in my experience I rarely use swept blend, but of course it's good to know all the tools there are in Revit.